So in 2007 I started the MBA programme here at Doncaster Business School. Um, it's a level 7 qualification validated by the University of Wales. It's one of the advantages of this programme that it is very flexible and there are a number of different ways to do it. I chose to do it over two years um, and the, the, the MBA covers a number of different modules, 12 in total. They're coupled with the final dissertation which uh, there is an option to do in year three and I chose to do it in year two, um, culminating in the MBA at the end of the programme. In terms of the M MBA programme itself, um, there is a, a full module on innovation and enterprise and it explores the wider um, concept of enterprise such as the socio-cultural aspects of enterprise. Um, it looks at things like why enterprise is popular with government, with um, academia and with the business sector and looks at things like what affects an enterprise culture, what things make up an enterprise culture, what things need to be in place um, and it raises interest in starting new businesses. The course looks at the theory but it also looks at the practical aspects of um, enterprise. It looks at the real world. Um, encouraging a critical analysis of organisational uh, procedures, policies and strategies. Um, and it really encourages students to become involved in all aspects of businesses, maybe those that they're not usually involved in. Um, and it will look in particular at how different elements of the organisation impacts on other different areas across the organisation. So for instance you might be looking at something in HR and on a normal basis not really understand what effects that might have in another area. Um, these modules will encourage you to see the impact of things um, say for, from HR onto finance and, and marketing and operations departments as well. In terms of the teaching and assessment, it takes on a number of different um, elements. As well as the usual lectures and discussions in class, there's lots of different activities. Um, there are very, some very practical sessions, um, lots of discussions. Uh, one of the most interesting parts of the MBA, MBA programme is, is, is the discussions that take uh, place in class. So it encourages lots of things and in particular um, the MBA students all favourite critical analysis. Throughout the MBA programme critical analysis um, is expected, it's encouraged uh, and it's something that we probably all need to improve on, on a daily basis uh, but it's there all the way through that programme. So, so what is an entrepreneur? And again um, it's a subject that um, has many different answers. Um, even academics can't, under, can't agree on, on the definition of an entrepreneur. The, the term entrepreneurialism has been around since um, for, for a few hundred years. Um, one of the most early definitions of that of Say from 1816, who talked about um, an entrepreneur being someone who shifted an economic resource from an area of low productivity to an area of higher productivity and greater yield. He also linked entrepreneurialism to, to innovative, to being innovative um, and the introduction of managing change. There are lots of different definitions ranging from that very early one. One of the later ones, which is one from Leggy and Hindle, um, says that entrepreneurs are just simply ordinary people, but they're differentiated between the rest of us by their determination to create and run an enterprise. But in terms of the definition of entrepreneur, there are lots of different things that people talk about. Um, you've got serial entrepreneurs, um, there's a, a discussion around opportunity and necessity entrepreneurs, the opportunity ent entrepreneurs, those that see an opportunity and decide to set up a business to exploit that opportunity, whilst your necessity entrepreneur is one that doesn't really have any choice. Um, their only way of making an income is actually to set up a business. And then um, the the list goes on and on. One of the things that continually comes up um, is that the characteristics of an entrepreneur, and there are all sorts of different characteristics um, that are, that are um, discussed in theories and academic by academics. Things such as innovation, change, self confidence, being proactive, decisive, being self motivating, having vision and flair. But Deakins and Friel suggest that even it's not that is not possible. It's not possible to agree on a definitive list of characteristics for an entrepreneur. Um, it's probably no surprise then to know that when I chose to do my dissertation, 
that I chose to do it um, in, in this sort of area on enterprise and specifically to develop a framework for supporting female entrepreneurs in Sheffield. The MBA dissertation here at Doncaster is, follows a, a similar path to others but it's an action based dissertation so as well as the usual literature review and theory it does need to have um, action um, conclusions and recommendations. My dissertation started with the usual literature review which included things around the definition of an entrepreneur, characteristics, the motivations, the barriers. I looked at public policy and support for entrepreneurs as well. Part of my primary and secondary um, activity um, and research included um, attending a committee of the regions event in Sweden um, to look at how other countries support female entrepreneurs and I also did a, undertook a mapping exercise to look at what support was available in Sheffield to support female entrepreneurs at the time uh, then looking at the gaps and from that producing a directory of, of support for women ent entrepreneurs in Sheffield. I also set up um, a few focus groups as part of that primary research which involved a number of women from across Sheffield and they eventually developed into the formation of a small group um, of women that got together on a regular basis. Now one of the things that I'm not is I'm, I, I'm not a risk taker, I'm very risk averse and it's something that can be very frustrating at times but one of the things that this particular course encouraged me to do was to take the odd risk now and again uh, and this is one of the things that I did with the, the women's group um, in that when we met for the first time after the focus groups we wanted to provide some sort of inspiration and a role model because that's one of the things that was missing out in Sheffield, good role models for female entrepreneurs. Anybody that's been uh, an avid fan of the, the programme The Apprentice might rem remember a lady called Jo Cameron. She was on one of the candidates in series two of The Apprentice and she was fairly well known for her forthcoming views and uh, was quite outspoken. Um, so it was probably quite a risk when I decided to bring Jo up to Sheffield to meet the ladies in the focus group. Um, and what, one of the things that we did was we shared stories um, and Jo in particular shared her story. She's a very inspirational speaker and um, when you listen to her you really understand where she's coming from and the barriers that she's actually had to overcome to set up her own business. So in terms of the benefits, benefits of me doing the MBA course and embedding enterprise into all um, the, the, the courses, there, there, are, there are many um, and both from a student perspective um, and from an organisational perspective. Um, for the student it, it, to gain new skills, to gain a new qualification, meet new people, um, increase networking. Um, for the employee in the organisation, probably some benefits that might not be um, so obvious. It's almost an added resource. Some of the assignments that are undertaken throughout the course, they're very much work-based. So they're based on real life problems out in the out in the organisation, and can often come up with some innovative, some new solutions. They're using um, academic underpinning and looking at practical solutions that might not have already been thought of, or might not have been thought of without um, that opportunity. And finally, and hopefully, um, in the not too distant future, hopefully I'll have an MBA as well. Thank you.